Spring allergies suck. If your child, or maybe yourself, maybe your whole family has them, then you know this to be true because we wait all winter long to get all excited for the sun to come out, for the trees and the flowers and everything to bloom and the grass to grow, and we just wanna get outside and go have some fun. We know that going outside for our kids is actually what builds their health. Vitamin D, exercise, creative play, come on, give it to me, but don't. Because if your child is constantly congested, red, itchy eyes, nasal congestion, coughs, colds, what if their allergies turn into more respiratory infections, which means more medications, over-the-counter, maybe prescription steroid-based medications, and then often still today, pediatricians love to give antibiotics for viral infections, food intolerances, environmental allergies, and all sorts of other stuff. So maybe you really know that spring allergies suck because not only does your child struggle with all the symptoms, but then they end up on all the medications which can cause drowsiness, focus, cognition, and oh, by the way, lots of behavior and emotional dysregulation challenges as well are tied to allergy medications, even the over-the-counter less intensive ones. I want you to watch this video all the way through, especially if this is you, mom and dad. You've not only exhausted all the conventional medicine with over-the-counter medications, prescription medications, allergy shots, allergy testing, you name it, but maybe you've gone really far or all the way down the road of natural health as well. And you've eliminated gluten, you've cut down on sugar and dairy, you have all the chemicals out of your child's life, and you're taking a thousand bucks worth of vitamins and supplements and essential oils and so forth to try and get your child's spring allergies or seasonal allergies better. If that's you, then really listen all the way through because we're going to teach you that one thing that is right in front of us for our kiddos, but no one else talks about that is the real core, foundational, true root cause of neuroimmunological, so neuroimmune inflammation. Now there we go. Now those nerdy words will send us right into the thick of this video, which is the science behind allergies. But real quick, before I get all sciencey, let me give you a relatable story about an incredible kiddo named Kylie. Now Kylie came to us on that exact path. They had done all the traditional medical stuff. She had had antibiotics and steroid-based medications earlier on in her life. And then they had gone all the way down the holistic road. And Kylie was kind of sort of better. They definitely had seen some results with this holistic natural health care, but she still struggled. She was still miserable in spring. And so when they learned about this new approach, neurologically focused chiropractic, it's not new to the world, but it was new to them, they finally, after she started to get adjusted, they could see these two things happen. There's more than these two, but in this video, I wanna keep it really simple for you. Number one, the sinus congestion, and just congestion period in her respiratory and lymphatic system didn't stay stuck there anymore. When she got congested, she could get it out really quickly and get over it really quickly. Second, they could tell that her immune system was much stronger. She wasn't so sensitive. She wasn't so allergic. She wasn't so easily triggered by these things as care went on. So Kylie got all the way through her allergies. Now this kind of approach, chiropractic approach to spring allergies is not a treatment and it's not a cure. That's the business of medicine, trying to, to manipulate or trick the body to work differently. We actually go right to that, how the body works. And we know that if spring allergies are there, there's dysfunction or dysregulation within the nervous system and the immune system causing the symptoms of allergies. So we're, uh, we're not just going to stuff down or try and shove the symptoms to the side. We're gonna go right to the root cause and address the stress on the nervous system, which then imbalances the immune system. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about with the science behind spring allergies. There's a two-pronged problem that this one thing called neurologically focused chiropractic adjustments can help. Number one, when your child's nervous system gets stressed, which can go as far back as a stressful pregnancy, induction, a stressful labor and delivery, induction, forceps, vacuum extraction, C-section. We know that kiddos who had C-section deliveries have a much higher risk of things like allergies and immune challenges later on in life because those births really can mess with the area of the nervous system that controls the balance between what's called the sympathetic fight or flight stress system and the parasympathetic rest, relaxation, and anti-inflammatory side of the nervous system. So you don't need to become a neurologist to make sense of this. The nervous system is the boss. 
The central and autonomic nervous system regulate everything from how the body moves to how the immune system works. So the first thing that an overstressed, stuck sympathetic nervous system will do is cause what I call poor plumbing. So when those nerves get wound up, the muscles do too. So the muscles that go to the ears, the sinuses, the lymphatics, the airway, the lungs, and the lymphatics, if the body is stressed and tense, it triggers constriction, which creates poor plumbing. Now, as spring comes in, we all should naturally have a day or two where our body figures it out. It is totally natural to get congested for a hot second, a day or two, in that seasonal transition of spring. When you go outside and there's more dust and there's more leaves and there's more pollen and there's more of all this stuff, the body has to bring that in. But when it's working well, when the nervous system isn't stressed and dysregulated, it kicks in motility. It kicks the plumbing and the HVAC system on extra and it filters this stuff out. What if you can't? What if your child's nervous system is stressed and stuck so as that mucus builds up to trap the pollen and the things and move it in from the ears, sinus, throat, into the lymphatics and into the lungs and into the gut where it's killed off and kicked out, what if it can't get it down there? So the number one thing that chiropractic adjustments help kids with is plumbing. Now that's my Iowa farm kid way of saying if a child is stressed and subluxated, their plumbing, their, their detox, their HVAC system, if you will, gets shut down and it can't clear through. If that's the case for your kiddo, there is no diet change and there is no supplement and there is no essential oil that can get the plumbing of the body working better, but there is adjustments that move this congestion through faster, quicker, easier, and help the body work. The primary function of our immune system is actually just plumbing. Mucus, sinuses, and digestive response. That's why those turn on extra when your child is sick or when the seasonal changes happen. They're natural, they're normal, and they're needed. So what medicine does is it comes in and says, oh, we have symptoms. Shut them down, stuff them down, and make them work worse. Why do you think so many kids have allergies today? It's natural for kids to go through some of this, but then they get medicated and their immune system gets further dysregulated and they deal with allergies all life long until they find, or their parents find, a video like this which tells them the truth that says there's actually something underneath this that we need to fix first. The second thing that happens with a stressed out, wound up nervous system, and I'll be brief on this because it can get really nerdy, the nervous system, when stressed, goes into sympathetic dominance. That sympathetic fight or flight system is supposed to turn on and then turn right back off. For kids with spring allergies, they're always wound up. Their sympathetic nervous system is always on extra. And when it's stuck on extra, they're extra sensitive. They're extra inflammatory. The sympathetic nervous system is very intricately tied to a pro-inflammatory, aka allergic response within the body. So until you get your child's nervous system regulated, calm down and cleared of this stress, they will stay in a hypersensitive, allergic sort of pro-inflammatory state. So the second thing that this kind of chiropractic adjustments helps kids with to address the root cause of spring allergies, not treat them, not cure them, and not just tough the symptoms down, is we actually get the nervous system to not be so stuck in sympathetic dominance, which is the same way as saying we get it out of this pro-inflammatory state that the body is stuck in. The biggest connection, just to go through it one more time, is actually all the way back to when they were a baby. There's a huge correlation between C-sections and allergies, inductions, forceps, vacuum birth, extraction, vacuum extraction sort of births, and these things as well. And I want you to go to our website and click the link that we're accompanying with this video and learn about this approach, the real science behind spring allergies, and we'll show you all the research and all the science behind how that happens. The coolest thing about neurologically focused chiropractic is we dive the deepest of any practitioner. We know this about health for our kids. Sometimes they are going to get so sick that we need conventional medicine and we need a medication or even an antibiotic if a bacterial infection gets bad enough to help the body get through it. They, that is amazing and so often they save lives. We also need to live healthy. 
diet changes, detoxes, supplements, vitamins, essential oils, all of these things help our body naturally work better. It's so important if your child gets sick often and has spring allergies to yes, limit dairy, limit gluten, limit sugar, limit, uh, take chemicals out of their foods entirely because those are pro-inflammatory triggers. But again, what if you've done all that and your child still struggles like Kylie did? If that's the case, then it is very, very likely that your child's nervous system is still subluxated, sympathetic dominant, and dysregulated, and you deserve to learn more. Go to that website and read our article all about spring allergies and how the nervous system and the immune system are connected, and then get connected to either our office, if you're local to us with PwC Chiropractic, or get connected to our network all over the world of trained and ready nervous system focused chiropractors who not only can walk you all the way through this even further, but can get a set of scans and examination that will find this stress on your child's nervous system and perhaps for the first time reveal the real root cause of why every spring when it should be exciting and it should be awesome and you should be outside enjoying it, your child might be stuck inside coughing, sneezing, miserable. We can change that. You can change that. Learn more, get connected to your neurologically focused chiropractor today. As always, any questions, comment below, send us a DM. And our last request, if you feel like this video is not only going to help your family, but someone else you know who their family, their kiddo struggles with spring allergies and they've exhausted all the options to try and get them better, please share this video with them as well. We'll see you on the next one.